32 years. The Bridgestone World Solar Challenge pushes students to think beyond conventional vehicle design. To dream bigger, go farther. It covers 3,000 kilometres, 1,900 miles, on one of Australia's most isolated highways. From Darwin in the Northern Territory to Adelaide, South Australia. Using the sun for power. This is the most difficult solar car event in the world, bar none. It's dreams coming true. Dreaming of cleaner, greener future. This challenge of mobility is a draw card for some of the brightest young minds around the world. More than 40 teams from over 20 countries, all pushing engineering and design to the limit. 1,000 young people, all working towards a common goal. I think this challenge is a place uh, where all things are possible for us. And I think that is a very difficult for us, but it also lies us to my future to, as engineering. For Bridgestone, this event is more than a sponsorship. It's laying the road to the future. Civil society's career quality is our DNA since we were born in 1931. And today, we serve our way focusing on mobility, people and environment. Yes, it's a one-on-one -on -one matching with this great event. That is why for us Bridgestone, this Bridgestone World Solar Challenge is the event that will continue to bring our new creative innovations to support your dreams for years to come. Bridging the gap is what this event is about, pushing innovation and technology to bridge that gap between the, the solar panels on the roofs of houses and places like this and the electric cars that are on the road. From lessons learned through the Bridgestone World Solar Challenge, Bridgestone enhances its tyre developments, such as the low rolling resistance Ecopia products, creating more environmentally friendly transport for the future. All this from a week-long trial traversing the Australian outback. Six days, 3,000 kilometres, and we're here. We finally made Adelaide. Two years of our lives, we spent it side by side, day in, day out, working on this car to be here, right where we are now. How's that for a challenge? 